Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at Toast notifications in React. The package we will be making use of is React Toastify. Let's start off with the installation and then proceed to explore some of its features. To get us started, I have already created a new project using Create React App. Navigate into the project folder and run the command yarn add react toastify. Once the command completes, we can import the library in our app component. So open app.js and over here, I'm first going to remove the header section to keep things simple. Next, at the top, we import toast from React Toastify. So import toast from React Toastify. Now the library provides us with some CSS which we need to import as well. So import React Toastify slash dist slash React Toastify dot CSS. Now that we have the necessary imports, Let's create a basic Toast notification. The first step is to simply call the configure method in the root component of your application. So just before the app component, toast.configure. Next, let's add a button to trigger the notification. So in the app component JSX, button that says notify, and on click notify. Finally, let's define the notify method. So const notify is equal to an arrow function where we call toast passing in a string. Let's call this basic notification. And that is pretty much it. Let's save this run the command yarn start, head to the browser and test it out. I click on the button and you can see the toast notification. Now what we have here is the default notification. Let's explore some of the configurations possible with this notification. First, let's take a look at the position. By default, the notification always pops up at the top right of your screen. This can be configured using the position property on the configuration object. The configuration object is the second parameter to the toast function. There are six possible positions for a toast notification. Let's start our first notification on the top left. So this is going to be position, which is going to be toast dot position dot top left. The second one is top center. So toast dot position dot top center. Next, top right. Similarly, we have bottom left, bottom center, and bottom right. If you now save the file, go back to the browser and click on notify, you should see all the six notifications popping up at the six different positions. So depending on your requirement, you can place the notification at the desired position. The next configuration is around the type of the toast notification. Leaving aside the default notification, we have four built-in types. One for success, one for info, one for warning, and one for error. So on the existing notifications, I'm going to leave the first one as the default notification. The second one is going to be toast.success for a success styled notification. The third is going to be info, toast.info, 
for an info styled notification and the fourth is toast.warn for a warning styled notification. The fifth one is error. And this is for an error styled notification. The last one is going to remain a default because we don't have another type. I'm just going to format this quickly, save the file, go back to the browser, click on notify, and we can see the different types. Top left, we have the default one. Top center, we have the success notification. Top right, info. Bottom left, a warning. And bottom center, an error notification. So for different purposes, you can use different styled notifications. The next configuration is the auto close configuration. Right now, the notifications all disappear after five seconds, which is the default value. We can, however, control the duration using the auto close property. For the first notification, I'm going to leave the default value of five seconds. For the second notification, I'm going to add auto close and set it to 8000 which is eight seconds. If you wish to, we can also disable or to close by specifying a value of false. So for the third notification, or to close and set it to false. Quickly format this. Let's save it and see how the second and the third notification behave as opposed to the other three or four notifications. So I'm gonna go back to the browser and if I click on the notify button, all the notifications appear, but you can see that the second notification takes longer to auto close compared to the first one. And the third notification will never auto close. You have to click on the close button yourself. The default value of five seconds is pretty good, but if you feel that the notifications need user intervention for closing, or to close with a value of false is the way to go. The last feature I want to discuss is about rendering a custom component. What is cool about the library is that it allows you to render your own component in the notification. So I'm going to define a simple component at the top, const custom toast is going to be equal to an arrow function and in the JSX, I'm simply going to return a div tag that says something went wrong. And what this custom component also receives is the close toast method as a prop. So close toast. So you could, if you wish to, add your own close button. So I'm going to add a button tag the text is close and on click is equal to close toast. Now on the warning notification, the first parameter, instead of being a string, we pass in the custom component. So I'm going to replace this string with our custom toast component. If I now save the file and head to the browser, click on notify, you should see the custom component being rendered and I can click on the close button to close the notification. So that is pretty much the core features I wanted to cover about React Toastify. Apart from these, there are other pretty cool configurations that are worth exploring. You can define custom styling, add different transitions, define custom transitions, delay the notifications, listen to on open and on close events, and even update a toast notification when it is already being displayed. But all in all, React Toastify is a package that you can definitely make use of in your next side project. 
All right then, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.